Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we discuss a few examples on relative speeds of trying problems. In our previous class, we already discussed about the formula required to solve these examples. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so whenever you are solving the aptitude questions, you should have the graphical intuition about how we got these formulas. Then only you can solve these questions. Otherwise, simply remembering will not help you to solve the questions. So that graphical intuition we provided when we discussed about the formula. So please watch that class. Now coming to our first question, a train 150 meters long is running with a speed of 68 kilometers per hour. They have given a train is running at a speed of a train length is given 150 meters and it is running at a speed of 68 kilometers per hour. In what time will it pass a man who is running at 8 kilometers per hour in the same direction in which train is going. So this is what the question has been provided. Now in our last class when we discussed when two trains are moving in the same direction what's the what's the time it is going to take to cross the faster train to cross the slower train that is given as a, it is given as a see here one train second train the first train is of length x meters second train is of length y meters it is moving in a u meters per second it is moving in v meters per second the time taken this to cross this train is given as a time is equal to distance by speed distance is given as x plus y it has to cross x means the relative x plus y divided by speed here is given as relative speed they are moving in the same direction relative speed is identified using a u minus v so why x plus y why the distance is x plus y that intuition we provided in our last class when we discussed the formula again we are not uh, discussing that uh, but coming to our examples this is what we had discussed in our previous classes now coming to our example in our example a train and a man both are moving in the same direction see here the length of the train has been provided it's x meters but we don't have length of a man so it is zero the distance is only this x meters this is the point you have to understand this point will be helpful in uh, many of the examples which we discuss in our next classes uh, if it is train if it is a man man is moving uh, this object don't have a length uh, but this object is having a length of x meters so simply time is equal to distance by speed here speed is relative speed both are moving in the same direction means subtraction of these two speeds that is what you have to do distance is only x meters only x meters time is equal to x by relative speed cause man don't have length speed is equal speed of the train is relative to man speed of the train relative to the man which is given as speed of the train is given as 68 minus speed of the man is given as 8 so 60 kilometers per hour we have to convert that into meters per second why because the train length is provided in meters so 60 multiplied by 5 by 18 that is equal to 50 by 3 meters per second time taken by the train to cross man time is equal to distance by speed distance is 150 meters divided by 50 by 3 which is 9 seconds okay coming to our second example this is a direct question uh, these next two examples are simple direct questions two trains 137 meters and 163 meters in length are running towards each other means they are moving in opposite direction on parallel lines one at the rate of 42 kilometers per hour and another at 48 kilometers per hour so uh, they are uh, they're running at a rate of means their speeds has been provided speed of the first train is 42 kilometers per hour second one is 48 kilometers per hour in what time will they be clear of each other from the moment they meet in what time they may be clear of from the moment they meet so what's the graphical intuition the time they meet what time they clear off means they cross each other distance is summation of these two trains speed is relative speed they are moving in opposite direction we have to sum the speeds that is what relative speed is okay this uh, if you don't understand why relative speed is summation please watch our formula video 
Now coming to the relative speed of the train is 42 plus 48 kilometers per hour. That is 90 kilometers per hour. Convert that into meters per second. 90 multiplied by 5 by 18. That is 25 meters per second. Time is equal to distance by speed. Distance is uh, so summation of both the train's length. 137 plus 163 that is 300 divided by time is relative speed is 25 300 by 25 12 seconds is the answer now coming to the third one this is also a direct question two trains 100 meters and 120 meters long are running in the same direction here in the previous example both are moving in the opposite direction here they are moving in the same direction same direction with speeds of 72 and 54 kilometers per hour how much time will the first train crosses the second one simple uh, simple uh, the distance is given as a length of the both the trains summation of length of both the trains speeds are given as a relative speed is identified using a so relative speed is 72 minus 54 both are moving in the same direction means we have to do minus so kilometers per hour that is 18 kilometers per hour 18 multiplied by 5 by 18 which is we are converting into meters per second that is equal to 5 meters per second time is equal to 100 plus 120 because the length of the train is given as one train is 100 and the train is 120 so total distance covered is 100 plus 120 by 5 that is equal to time is equal to this is the total distance divided by speed speed is 5 that is equal to 44 seconds hope you understand these examples in our next class we are going to discuss some complex examples related to relative speed if you have any questions regarding the questions please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you